Sartorius are introducing a new range of recombinant human research use only growth factors and cytokines to their portfolio for life science research. These growth factors and cytokines are animal derived component free and are of the highest purity and quality for use in your workflows. Sartorius have produced internal application data for a number of different cell types to show you how the Sartorius RUO growth factors and cytokines work in different biologically relevant assays to give you confidence when using them in your research. Stem cells provide researchers the capability to produce all somatic tissues of the human body in the lab. They are a very valuable tool for research, facilitating the study of various tissue types and disease models. Organoids are the next step in tissue and disease model research, allowing the recapitulation of organs in miniature outside the human body. Some of the benefits of using organoids as models are the development of 3D structures in culture and heterogeneous cell populations more representative of the conditions inside the human body. Using the flexibility of induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, as a foundation, a variety of tissue lineage-derived organoids can be developed from a small amount of starting material. The process begins with culture media and the addition of specific supplements such as growth factors and cytokines to shape the iPSCs into the tissue of choice, in this case, hepatic tissue. The cells are treated with different media recipes during the differentiation process to elicit the development into the hepatic lineage. Today, we present the development of hepatic organoids from iPSCs using Sartorius Research Use Only Growth Factors and Cytokines. During differentiation, we monitor and analyze the cell's progress using the Incusite Lyocell Analysis System and the IQ Advanced Flow Cytometry Platform. Starting with the definitive endoderm stage, the cells become less tightly packed compared to iPSC colonies and start to lose expression of pluripotency markers while gaining expression of hepatic markers. As we move along the differentiation timeline from hepatic endoderm to mature hepatocytes, all the while monitoring the visual morphology of the cells using the incosite and analyzing the surface marker expression using the IQ, we can see the development of a more differentiated morphological phenotype and increasing competency. The cells slowly begin to resemble hepatocytes, and this observation is confirmed by marker expression, where we see reductions in pluripotency expression markers and increases in hepatic marker expression, all the way through to the final mature hepatocyte stage. From this point onwards, we can collect our iPSC-derived hepatocytes and culture them in 3D matrices to form human hepatic organoids. These organoids can be monitored using the Incusite to produce videos tracking growth and development. Sartorius provides a suite of solutions for the challenges researchers face when developing iPSCs and organoids, such as commercial media and research use only growth factors and cytokines, while also providing the means to monitor and analyze critical cell and 3D cultures in a non-perturbing manner using the Incusite live cell analysis system. Finally, for endpoint analysis, the IQ Advanced Flow Cytometry Platform facilitates the intracellular and surface marker expression phenotyping required to confirm the lineage of developed cells and organoids. Thank you for watching and please see our website for further details on the products and protocols outlined in this video.